So you're tired of the hustle of everyday life in the big city and you're thinking of taking that well-needed vacation and you're wondering where to go. Well, sit back, relax and let's take you on the ultimate getaway. tip of Tobago. Charlotteville is a fishing village of around 2,000 people. There's no hotel, no supermarket, no small restaurant and no upmarket boutique. Its long village beach of soft creamy sand is backed by a few cottages and a few small shops and bars owned by the villagers. Some of the village houses have two or three guest rooms added and can be rented by visitors who want to experience life in the countryside. But there's also a few small guest houses in and around the town. You can also find one or two very simple restaurants selling local food. The fish market is run by a fisherman's cooperative and is a bustling centre for an hour or two in the afternoons. track and down the side of this hill is Pirates Bay, one of the most beautiful beaches in Tobago, where there are no permanent buildings and no roads, just you and nature. first century such a beautiful place on a Caribbean island has remained so unspoiled. Geologically the island which is now Tobago was a northeastern corner of the South American continental shelf. It started to separate from the mainland about a million years ago, much earlier than Trinidad. As it gradually drifted into its present position, it carried with it the indigenous flora and fauna which are of South American origin. But much of the present flora is not indigenous, but imported. Charlotteville is surrounded by high mountains on all sides, except for the northern coastal side. For this reason, and because of the excellent deep natural harbour of Man of War Bay, in early times the main access was by sea. But for generations there's been a track over the mountains to what is now Speyside. The name Charlotteville sounds French and one might suppose it dates from the French colonization in the same way as Lance Formi, Parlatuvia and perhaps Hermitage. However, there is a grave of an early settler, a Dutch woman called Charlotte, behind the great house. And perhaps the village was named after her. Another version holds that the plantation owner fell in love with his slave, called Charlotte and left the estate to her on his death. However, many places in the world are named after the very popular Queen Charlotte of England, wife of King George III, the Queen Charlotte Islands, Fort Charlotte in St Vincent, Charlottesville, Virginia and others. Charlotteville is almost certainly named in her honour. Charlottesville Bay has had various names. An early name was Jan Moores Bay, after the leader of one of the first settlements here. It's also been known as Manawa Bay, John Moores Bay and its current name is Manawa Bay. 